uh, this guy, Timothy McVeigh, guilty, and then they're trying to, uh, they want to kill him on a death penalty. They said that the, uh, that these uh, patriotic groups, that these, uh, what do you call these groups, militia groups, they're going to come against the federal government. So that's all found in the Bible. All right? And then Russia, Russia and America, they're going to have a thermonuclear war. That's found in the Bible, too. That's all prophesied in the Bible. So America's going to be destroyed in thermonuclear destruction because that's all throughout the Bible. That's why you have all these different experts. Like the brother said, you had an expert, a so-called expert on Oprah Winfrey's show speaking about he knows how to break down the codes of the Bible. Everybody's talking about the Bible. So the Bible is not just a fairy tale book. It's just a book. You know that the Bible been uh, a bestseller since as far back as you as you go. It's been a bestseller, but it's the less, the least read book on the planet Earth. The least read book on the planet Earth, or the least understood book. Even when you look at these little uh, tabloid magazines, they're all predicting the end of this so-called society in thermonuclear war. And then they you even go back and deal with uh, Nostradamus, and it says that he read the Bible. And during this time, this is when all, all this stuff, all these prophecies are going to take place on the planet Earth. There's going to be much bloodshed on the planet Earth. There's going to be much riots and insurrections on the planet Earth. And all these things that are happening, man, now they bring them back to death penalty, and certain people don't like it because there's a lot of innocent people being put on death row. Because a lot of these patriot movements, a lot of them, they're saying that that was unjust what they did to Timothy McVeigh because nobody witnessed him doing that. So they're saying they're going to get back at the federal government, at the government of the United States. So there's going to be a race, there's going to be a race, race war. As a matter of fact, give me the apocrypha, give me that in uh, uh, second Ezra, the 16th chapter, in the 17th verse, I mean, I'm sorry, the 70th verse. We're going to read that in the Bible. There's going to be food shortages in America. There's going to, people are going to go back to uh, uh, cannibalism, eating their children, because that happened in the past. That's coming and getting ready to happen again. No, 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 six, uh, 16, 16, and uh, start at the, uh, start right here. Right, start from the 69 first. Second Ezra's, uh, 1669. And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden under foot. For, th for there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Let's talk about this race war that's going to take place. Now, jump up to uh, 16 and 19 and read down. Behold, famine and plague and uh, tribulation and anguish are, are set as scourges for amendment. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness. Right, because there's going to be a truck strike, a national truck strike. Because the truckers union, they're going to strike and there ain't going to be no food coming from one coast to the other coast. Because when you go to your supermarkets and get your food, your, your produce, your meat and all that, your cereal, milk, they manufacture it in one part of the state or another state, then they have to truck it to another state. So if they stop the, the truck, if there's a truck strike, there ain't no food going to come to your market. So that's the famine. Read that again from the 19th verse. Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are against, are, are sent as scourges for amendments. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness. Right. Even though you're going to catch hell, there's going to be a famine in this country. There's going to be race wars in this country. You're still not going to turn from your wickedness. So what's going to be left? Let the Lord destroy you. 
and he's going to destroy this place. He's going to destroy America. In thermonuclear destruction, it's going to be destroyed and wiped away by fire. Read on. No, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Behold, the victuals shall be so good cheap upon the upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. You know what that's talking about? There's going to be a drop in prices so everybody thinks everything's good. Oh, that's oh, that's cheap. Now they got these warehouses now. BJ's Warehouse and Sam's Club and Bill Club. If you buy a... Uh, uh, 200 pounds of bacon. You know, what the, who the hell is going to eat all that damn bacon, man? Yeah, man, seven gallons of mayonnaise for two dollars. And but you know what, man? That's what people saying, oh, everything is good. There's no more recession. Man, the Lord is going to hit you hard. The, the Lord is going to hit you hard. That's why it says in Thessalonians, it says, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction is going to come upon them. See, the Lord got the... It seems like the economy is going good. Everything, every, people shopping, buying. Oh, Sadie is here. We can go shop. Oh, I'm going shopping. Like the guy that worked with me. I said, what you doing out here? Oh, I'm going shopping. Yeah, after a while, you ain't going to be doing no more shopping. You gonna, you know what you're going to be doing? Instead of shopping, you're going to be starving. Three. And even then shall evils grow upon earth. Right, because evils are going to get worse and worse. Now they're having this thing over there in New York. It's coming on. It's going, it's going to be all around the country. The so-called rent, rent laws, rent regulations, which I have to say this. Constitutionally, they're not supposed to have laws on landlords. A landlord's supposed to charge whatever he wants to charge. If, if the landlord says, look, this room is a million dollars, either you pay it or you don't pay it. But... Let's say, they, let, let's say they drop all the laws, all right? And let's say a landlord is renting an apartment at 500 a month. And let's say he raises that rent up to 2,000 a month. If the people that live in that apartment can't afford to pay for it, then the government is supposed to step in and say, don't worry about it. We'll give you the $1,500. So there's nothing wrong with that. Because it says in the Constitution, the reason why they collect taxes, Congress collect taxes, is for the general welfare and the defense. So here they are getting mad at Pataki about uh, the landlords raising their rent prices and the laws. They ain't supposed to have laws on no uh, uh, landlords. But the government is supposed to say, don't worry about it. If the guy raised up to $3,000, you're paying $500, don't worry. We'll give you $2,500 a month to help you out. You know what that's going to do? That's going to be it, because the government ain't going to give no money to help nobody. All right? They're going to cut all that. All that's going to be cut. You know what's going to happen? People are going to start killing landlords. People are going to start killing government officials. People, uh, so-called Negroes, West here in Puerto Ricans, our people, when they don't have nothing, they're going to take it. They're going to get it. They're going to go where the white people are. The white people got nice houses, nice cars. What you think they're going to do? The guy that has a nice job, he's working, I want to get along with everybody. His whole, his whole psyche's going to change. He said, man, all this work I did, yo, F this white man. Here goes the white woman in Mercedes. He's going to bust that white woman's head wide open and take that Mercedes and keep it. All right? They want money. They're going to start. They're going to line up. There's going to be a line at these uh, AT, what do you call it, these uh, ATM. I don't even know what it is because I don't even I don't, I don't know nothing about a bank because I'm nowhere near. I ain't got enough money to even go to a bank. ATM. What the hell is the ATM? They're going to have a long one line of people getting money and another line waiting to rip the other people on the other line off. Man, there's going to be chaos, man. And you know what? Even Uncle Tom's is starting to hate the white man now. Now, you know, when the Uncle Tom's don't like white people, you know you white people in trouble, man. All right, read on. Sword, famine, and great confusion. Sword, famine, and great confusion. What is the sword going to be used for? What's the modern day sword? Ain't nobody, there are going to be some crazy niggas out there that's going to actually get swords and use them, but the modern day, the machetes, all right? But uh, the modern day sword is a gun. The modern day sword is a gun. Remember that. Biblically, when it says sword today, it's talking about guns, weapons, ammunition. Now, after the Timothy McVeigh case, when he was found guilty, there was a group that stole an FBI van with all kind of high power weapons.
weapons in it. When they found the van, the van was burned up and the weapons were gone. So we're coming to that time now. Total race, race riots, total in our, and not, I'm not just saying race riots because so-called white people are going to come against white people. There's going to be a, a class, uh, a, a, a war against classes. The lower class white people are going to go up against the upper, upper and middle class white people. The lower class black people are going to go up against the middle class and upper black people. And then white people are going to go against black and Puerto Rican. Puerto Ricans are going to go up against it. It's going to be nothing but chaos out here. Read that part again. And even, and even then shall evils grow upon the earth, sword and famine and great confusion. This is what's coming on the earth. This is what's coming on the earth. Go ahead. For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine. For many of them that dwell upon the earth, this is getting ready to happen. And it's happening now. But it's going to happen on a wider scale. Read that again. And many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine. And many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish, die of famine. They're going to starve to death. I'm going to give you an example. It comes on almost every night on TV. Feed the children with this guy Roy Jones or whatever the hell his name is. The so-called pastor. They're showing you down south. And it's mostly white, white kids. They show these white kids, I mean, they live, you think we live in the ghetto, they're living in the ghetto. I mean, the ghetto, man. Yeah, they have to, they have old beat up shacks, no food in it, and then they gotta go to the outhouse to use the bathroom or go out to the woods, and sometimes they don't even make it back or this, a bear snap all the ass off. And these white people are going down, man. But I'm gonna hit you with something. A lot of our own people are going to go down to two-thirds. 66.6% of our own people are going to die. Why? Because they're wicked, they're not right, and they're not the chosen of the Most High. There's a chosen elect. Because all Israel is a chosen people, but there's a chosen elect that's going to be saved first. All right, read on. And the others that escape the hunger, and the others that escape the hunger, let's say they find a place to eat. They might be sitting down eating a uh, sandwich or something. Shall the sword destroy? Shall the sword destroy? They're going to get killed. They're going to get shot up. They're going to get beat down. They're going to get killed. Go ahead. And the dead shall be cast out as dung. And the dead shall be cast out as shit. Because the word dung means shit. I'm telling you what, the, the, the direct translation is the word shit. When it's come at you, the dead is going to be... You know how you go to the bathroom? Boom. It's over. That's how people are going to be dying, like you go to the bathroom. Martial law. But there's still going to be little businesses out, out there. There's still going to be, the government's still going to be established, but it's going to be shaky. And what year are we living in? 1997, half of 1997. And about six more months, 1998. Everything in that Timothy McVeigh, uh, that, that uh, death penalty phase that they had, they found, they said that he's going to be sentenced to death and you found guilty. That's going to wake up a lot of these militia groups and a lot of these groups that are against this government and there's going to be hell. There's going to be hell in this government. Huh? Right, that they turned them into a martyr. 